If you have any knowledge about aquaponics, you have probably heard about biofilters. But what are these, why are they needed, and how can you use them in your aquaponics system? In this video, we take a deep dive into aquaponic biofilters and answer these questions. Let's get started. What are biofilters? Simply put, a biofilter is a living organism that has the ability to remove, or filter, pollutants or contaminants from the water in a system. In an aquaponic system specifically, inorganic substrates, like gravel for example, act as a safe haven for beneficial microorganisms, allowing them to survive and multiply to the benefit of the system as a whole. When used correctly, biofilters will provide the correct temperature, pH, light and nutrient levels required by these living organisms. You should aim to maximize the surface area of your biofilters, as this will provide more room for the beneficial microbes. Remember that lots of smaller pieces of inorganic substrate will have a larger surface area compared to larger pieces of substrate. In small media-based aquaponic systems, the surface area provided by the media might be enough to sustain the needs of your system. However, if you have a larger system, you will need to include additional biofilters. Experts recommend adding more filters if you have a stocking capacity of more than 5 kg of fish per cubic meter. Why are biofilters important? By growing plants and raising fish aquaponically, you can enjoy the best of both hydroponics and aquaculture. In hydroponics, you are merely growing your plants in water which can either be recycled through the system or be continually replaced. In aquaculture, toxic nutrient accumulation from the fish waste and added elements like fish food means the water also needs to be constantly siphoned off and replaced with a clean supply. Aquaponics allows us to solve this problem. The toxic fish waste is siphoned off from the fish tank to the grow bed. In the grow bed, or before depending on the system, the microorganisms growing on the biofilters convert the toxicities into plant usable nutrients, thereby cleaning the water and making it fish friendly once more. Here's some more detail on how this works. When pumped from the fish tanks into the grow beds, the water is highly concentrated with toxic ammonia. As you can see, nitrogen forms a big chunk of the ammonia complex. This is where the importance of the nitrogen cycle comes in. In nature, the nitrogen cycle is pivotal in converting atmospheric nitrogen into plant usable forms. This is especially important as nitrogen is the most in-demand nutrient by plants as it forms the building blocks of amino acids and proteins allowing plants to grow. Nitrogen is therefore essential in almost every physiological process in the plants. Aquaponics allows us to exploit this nitrogen cycle to convert toxic fish waste into non-toxic recycled water. As we mentioned, ammonia is highly concentrated in the water pumped from the fish tanks. Two classes of microorganisms, known as Nitrosomonas and Nitrobacter, play pivotal roles in converting the ammonia into plant usable forms, thereby eliminating the toxic nitrogen sources from the water. This is how they do this. Firstly, nitrosomonas convert the ammonia into nitrites. Unfortunately, nitrites are even more toxic to the fish than the ammonia. Luckily, the nitrobacter are hanging around. They convert the nitrites into nitrates. When in the nitrate form, the nitrogen becomes available to plants. So in the last step of the process, the plants remove the nitrates from the water, making it suitable for the fish once more. Nitrosomonas and nitrobacter thrive on wet, dark surfaces. This is why biofilters are so important. The more surface area there is for these microorganisms to exist, the more efficient the system will be at detoxifying the water. How to use biofilters in aquaponics? Like we mentioned, if you have a media-based grow bed in your hydroponic system, you may not need additional filtering systems. However, if you are incorporating traditional hydroponic systems like the nutrient film technique or deep water culture into your aquaponic setup, you will need to think about adding biofilters. If you are thinking of adding one to your system, you should install the biofilters between the fish tank and the plant system so the ammonia can be converted to nitrates before it reaches the plants. You also need to consider factors such as aeration and prior filtration of solid material. Nitrosomonas and nitrobacter are aerobic organisms, which means they need oxygen to survive. You must therefore make sure your system is adequately aerated. Venturi siphons or air stones can be included in your setup to make sure the water has sufficient levels of dissolved oxygen. This also relates to the filtration of solid particles. Any debris from the fish tanks can be a potential cause of blockage resulting in anaerobic or oxygen deficient conditions, which spells doom for our beneficial bacteria. So you should consider including mechanical filters for larger particles before the water moves through the biofilters. So you can see how important biofilters are in aquaponics. 
However, they are not immediately effective at detoxifying the water. This is why cycling your system is so important before any fish are added. Here is how you can cycle your system. 1. Start off by placing some plants into your system. These plants can be viewed as sacrificial, as they will be exposed to high levels of ammonia. 2. Add ammonia to your system. Liquid ammonia is probably the best option, but urea, urine, and seaweed extract can also be used. However, these options may require extra inputs or take a longer time to convert. It is recommended that one tablespoon per 1000 liters be used. 3. Using a water test kit, continually test your water. First, monitor ammonia levels. The sweet spot is between 2 to 4 parts per million. If tests show the water is below these levels, keep adding ammonia. If it is above these levels, stop adding ammonia and wait until the levels drop. At these levels, the population of nitrous ammonas will start to increase. After a few days, you can start testing for nitrites as nitrous ammonas start converting the ammonia. Lastly, you will start to test nitrate levels. You are aiming for nitrate levels between 5 to 10 parts per million. At this point, the ammonia and nitrite levels should be zero. Once this point has been reached, you can add the fish to your system. And that's that for our video on biofilters and aquaponics. Feel free to ask any questions in the comments. Before you go, remember you can find this info in our ebook linked in the description. And with that, we will see you in the next video.